Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you five ways how we can make our text easier to read in Canva. But before we dive into the tutorial, I have a quick favor to ask. If you like my content and find it valuable, please take a moment to hit the small like button and subscribe to my channel. Is it really helps to keep getting content for you? Thanks, and now let's get started. So the first way, as you can see already, I added the same image five times to my project. So the first uh, way is the gradient shape or even immediately a shape, but the gradient shapes are, uh, it might be even better. So I need uh, this oval or oval, sorry, this uh, rounded uh, square. I just need to adjust the size a bit to be bigger than the text. Or just moving the text to the middle. It's also nice. Now it's already kind of uh, readable. Or if you just click on the element, on the shape, and go into the transparency and just reduce the transparency a bit, it's already something nice, especially when we are harmonizing the colors. So if I click on, not the text, click on the, these uh, elements, moving to the colors and choosing a color from the, from the photo that was actually was done automatically. So that's uh, in this case, this immediately harmonized with uh, with the image, but this is not a thing what I would like to show you. Actually, I'm moving back the transparency to 100%. And, and actually, this is not gradient at all. So if I'm going to the colors and uh, click on this color, existing color, just click on gradient, so I can create a gradient on it with the different styles, like here, but uh, this is good. This is already not something what I want. Maybe not with this color, but I would like to have on the bottom. So just change the order and click on the second color and removing the transparency. As you can see, it's already something better. So I just, uh, in this case, just have to click on the rectangle. I just uh, need to move the text out because it's, for me, it's a wrong position. So like this. Maybe we can be bigger uh, element. In this case, it's the gradient part is much more longer. So it's as you can see, it's already the text on this part is much more readable. What was it before? So that's I like both techniques. If I just add a solid color uh, element like this uh, this uh, rounded shape rectangle or just using this uh, gradient one but in this case we have to do this with a different size and also this depends on the harmony of the picture so for example for this one i think that the previous version was better when I just used a normal round shape with the rectangle, use the color from the image and just reduce the transparency. But this uh, gradient shape is also a really good one. Uh, the second one is like a text shadow. So if I click on the text, go into the effects, and here we can use shadow, lift, or even outline is nice. So if I click on outline and give some like black outline, it's already 
already more readable as you can see. Or if I just click on shadow and also the shadow color is, has to be like, like black, the huge contrast. This is also nice, but I really love the lift. You can see when I increase the lift to 100%, it's already make a huge difference. So this is also a very nice, very good practical thing what we can use on it. Uh, the third one is uh, like a light, uh, there is a large uh, transparent object. How can I call it? I will show you it immediately. So the thing is going back to the sh uh, shapes and now I just choose the normal rectangle. This is already good because it's already the same color as the one of the, from the from picture, but might be not the best one. So I just click on the color and I try to choose the darkest color of the image, which is black, which is uh, not good. Like this, this uh, gray blue and reducing the transparency to like around 10, 10 ish. In this case, we gave this uh, additional color filter to the image. And as you can see, the text is already more visible. And uh, this, this small techniques also help you to make the uh, make the text easier to read. And something similar with the next one, I can go into the elements and just uh, type shadow. And looking for one shadow element, see all, something like this. Okay, where is the text? What I did? I forgot to add the text. This could be. Yeah. Okay, so I need the text again. Sorry, I forgot to add the text to this part. Okay, I'm going back to I need this uh, shadow and increase the size. Moving to the bottom. Maybe it increase a bit more like this and so this one the we cannot change the choose the color or uh, the best if we can find one where we can uh, even choose the color this is also not But even already with without a, without this color option, it uh, could be nice. But at the moment, I cannot find any. That's not so nice when I, when I can change the change the color or some of them. You can change the color, and if you can find this one, uh, the color also has to be the same as in the previous. Uh, part I mentioned when we can choose the one of the darkest color from the just sorry just uh-huh we can choose the color picker now so I just have to use the one of the darkest color from the image but the black is almost like a good solution so with with this option the image is also towards image the text is more readable in the image so i think this is also a really good solution especially when you like me cannot find what i'm looking for it that's not so good, but yeah, I'm just searching for something different. Like I find some
this one also not okay no problem so let's see i show you this already this works like this this is also a good solution and the last one is uh, uh have a called this glass effect that will be a bit trickier one but this is also an amazing tool i'm going to the apps and searching for glass glass maker glass maker here we can we have two options to select an image or export design i just add the dim image and uh, start glass effect here we can have the settings what we want like i would like to have a bit different shape also different position different size we can have this radius also with the transparency we can have the, the glass effect the stroke we have shadow but now i just uh, like this i'm just adding like this okay so if i add to design the thing what is happening as you can see this uh, application created a new image for me technically so if you would that to have a proper one like from like this image basically as you can see it's outside of the of the canva so here it's happened again this the the, the application is uh, created the same the, the 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 image what was created has the same size so that's uh, also a thing what you have to uh, have to consider so if we let you have a real same size the the best thing to save a image on that canvas size and then using on this uh, glass maker option uh, application but i think this is also good like this but it's a bit more professional if you're doing on that way so i added to the image but now we cannot see the text so going to the position layers and moving the text to the top zooming a bit because it's text is too big but now i move the text inside the the glass effect so i think this is also a really nice way to make our text easier to read so now we can go through the five different uh, effects what i what i mentioned this is the gradient uh, gradient shape and also showed you just a element with the color when we reduce the transparency i think for this image is also really useful the second one is the text shadow when i use the lift effect so here i used a rectangle which has the same size of the image and use the uh, the one of the darkest color from the image in this uh, rectangle and reduce the transparency to very low like to 10 to make the actually the whole image bit bit have a bit different tone because of this uh, kind of filter but uh, the the best thing the text is uh, is easier to read so here i just use a shadow effect which is also a really nice trick to do it this is actually technically the same as a sh gradient shape what i showed in the first but with a different element so here we can we have already have this shadow element in the first one we create our own and the last one this uh, glass effect which is a bit uh, different but here we are not using any tool we are using a third party app to create this small uh, glass part in the image so this is a five waves how to can make your text easier to read in canva 
But now, this tutorial is going to the end. Hope so you like it. If you really like it, please do not forget to hit the small like button, subscribe to my channel, leave comment in the comment section to feed the algorithm and let me reach more and more people. And also, if you have any questions about Canva or struggling anything in Canva, just let me know and I try to answer as soon as possible. Please check also the description where you can find our links for my Facebook page, Instagram page and TikTok page where you can find uh, tons of uh, another Canva tutorials, not only from me, least in a Facebook, where you can find the tutorials also from another great Canva experts. As I mentioned already, you can find the links in the description. But now this tutorial really going to the end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.